Click on New Patient. Click on New Case. Click on Import DICOM. Select DICOM Files folder. The software will read all the DICOM files present in the folder. To order DICOM files, select Order DICOM by position. To import DICOM files, select Axial Sequence and click on Import Case. If you want to limit the Axial's range, click on Yes. Moving the Axial handles, you can limit the Axial's range. To import DICOM files, click on Import. To open the case, click on Open. To rotate, zoom and pan the 3D reconstruction, drag the mouse clicking the mouse buttons. Click on General Menu, and click on Trace Panoramic, to define the panoramic line. To scroll cross sections, use the mouse wheel. To trace the panoramic line, click on Axial with left mouse button. To close the panoramic line, click on Axial with right mouse button. To select the traced panoramic, click on Select Panoramic. To scroll cross sections, use the mouse wheel. To import and align digitally acquired model, click on Models menu, then click on Alignment 3D. The Alignment 3D function, imports digitally acquired model, and align it with CT acquisition. To load the model, click on Load Model, and select the file in SDL format. Click on CT Reconstruction, and click on Digitally Acquired Model Surface, holding keyboard control button pressed.
click on register to align the digitally acquired model to the CT. The software aligns the digitally acquired model with the CT and calculates the variations. You can check the quality of 3D alignment, reading the shape of the graph and the false colors map. Bell graph shape means a good alignment. To add the model to the case, after alignment, click Add Model. To visualize the digitally acquired model, click on Models menu, and click on Models list. To change the color of model, click on color button, and select new color. To change the software layout, select general menu, and select layout, then choose the visualization layout. Use the mouse wheel, to scroll the cross sections, and check the fitting between the model and the CT. To change the software layout, select General Menu, and select Layout, then choose the Visualization Layout. Click on Panoramic to select the cross-section where to place implant. To change the software layout, select General Menu, and select Layout, then choose the Visualization Layout. To add a new implant in the current cross-section, select Implants menu, and select Add Implant. To add implant in current section, select Implant, Abutment, or Scan Abutment from the list. You can download New Implants Manufacturer, clicking on, Download Implants. Click on OK to add the implant into current cross-section. To move the implant, click with left mouse button and drag. You can move and rotate the implant on cross-sections and on 3D. You can move and rotate the implant on panoramic. To visualize the sleeve, click on Guides menu, then click on Show Sleeves. To select the sleeve type, click on Sleeve List. Move the implant to check the sleeve correct position. To prepare the case for guide designing, click on Guides menu then click on Prepare Case for Guide Design.
Select the guide type, then select the model used to design the guide. Click on Design Guide button. The software informs you that the model is not closed. Close the model before start the surgical guide designing. Click on Close Model menu. Select Closing Modality. Click on Close Model. To remove undercuts, select Undercuts menu. Rotate the model in correct position. Click on Set Position, then click on Remove Undercuts. Click on Select Sleeves menu. Select Sleeves Type and 3D Printer Type. Click on Design Guide menu. Click on Model Surface to add point to guide margin line. Click on Create Guide. To add inspection holes, click on Inspection menu. Click on Surgical Guide Surface to add inspection holes, then click on Create Inspection. To add text on Surgical Guide Surface, Click on Text Menu. Type the text, select the emboss type, and click on Surgical Guide Surface. Click on Create Text to add text on Surgical Guide Surface.
To visualize surgical guide into 3D view, select models menu, then select models list.